bright duty every student matters the governing body or the government in the urban areas now we are coming to discuss with this the under the different heads of the municipality or the municipal council then we have the, we will discuss about that the functions then sources of income and the administrative officer so these are the four different points over here the a local urban government or the local government in urban areas so first of all coming to discuss with that the local government in urban areas what are actually the work who are the members so the administration in a of a city is looked after by a municipality this is this in the city administration in the city is looked after by the municipality and elections to the municipalities are held after every 5 years every year it is for the local government even in the villages we have seen about that the village panchayat for 5 years nagar panchayat also for 5 years here again it is for the 5 years elections are been held then what it says that the men and women above the 18 years of age have the right to vote in these elections and the city is divided into the different sections and these sections are known as the wards this is the different sections are divided just like as if we we any idea about that the lok sabha we have the constituencies for the legislative assembly elections we have the constituency but for the elections of that the local body we have the wards so the city is divided into the different sections known as the wards voters from each ward elect their own representative these representatives are known as councillor these are known as the councillors from each and every ward one councillor is been elected and he or she may work for the Yes. So these councillors from the municipality they elect the president among themselves, just like as the chairman or the vice chairman, sarpanch or up sarpanch. There is no special provision for the elections. The same way, among the elected councillors, they elect one chairperson as a means that the president is known as the chairperson of the municipality and. there is a chief officer assisted by some other officers to look after the day to day administration of the municipality so this is about that what it says the chairperson is there and chairperson is also assisted by the chief officer and chief officer is not only alone he or she himself herself but they are having the some other officers also to assist in their day to day administration of the municipality then it comes about that the functions of the municipalities the municipality carries out many things for the welfare of the peoples what are they these are actually under the different headings first of all cleanliness and the maintenance of the public health what it comes the public health which is very much very important and this facility has been provided by the municipalities to the citizens or to the people living in their area in a city the population which is very much very dense dense then being very high they live very close to each other as such maintaining cleanliness and the disposing waste materials are one of the most important jobs of the municipality means that the collecting the garbage and the disposal collection and the disposal of the garbage as the density of the population is very high this is the one of the most important task or the work done by the municipality apart from this the building a drainage system for disposing dirty water taking steps for the preventive that they prevent the epidemics opening of the dispensaries and the health centers planning and implementation of the uh, different schemes for the construction of houses with the proper ventilation facilities 
are some of the other important functions of the municipalities which comes under the cleanliness and the maintenance of public health if proper ventilated houses are there then only we can get the fresh air breathe fresh air how to clean that uh, drainage system how to collect the garbage and the proper disposal so that the no any different type of the the foul smell or the, the dirty smell comes to us we can get the clean and safe drinking water facilities these are the important tasks done by the municipalities in the urban area then it comes about that the second is after the public health it is the public amenities facilities in a simple english we can say that facilities so what is about the public amenities this is the constructing and the maintaining of the roads first of all to travel from one place to another this is very much very important about that the maintenance of the roads then we have the uh, lamp post which is uh, simply and in the common language we can say that the street lights road constructions public urinals then urinals or lavatories we can say that and lavatories and the keeping them clean not only to construct them but the regular cleaning to maintain the health and hygiene it is very much very required then how to maintain that the greenery in the town or in the city so the plantation of the trees growing the green trees then both the sides of the roads making arrangements of for drainage draining surplus water during monsoon rains everywhere this is very much very required about that the proper drainage system in the city so when the heavy flow heavy rainfall is there during the monsoon season it can drain out properly so the water logging should not be there in the city these are the some of the important functions provided just done by the municipality then functions related to the education and culture this is about the education and culture what type of the facility is been provided by the municipality under this heading this is the constructing and running schools for primary education first of all now with this the right to education facility this is the free and compulsory education system has been there so the municipalities also need to provide the school facilities this is the right given to the every child but they also have to open the or to construct the primary school the construction is required the construction here means that the construction of building to provide the primary school facility or the elementary education to the small children so this is about that the constructing and running a school for primary education arranging for grounds for children then construction this is grounds for children means what they have to provide the playground so the physical health and the children can play and enjoy to entertain to recreate themselves so then it is about that they have to construct and maintain the reading rooms and these are the important functions of the municipality reading room is just like as the library type but the books are not been available so the people can sit and study with their own material developing and maintaining public gardens is an important function of the municipality and municipality also takes up the job of constructing town halls and the cemeteries the burials this is the burials and the cemetery town halls where the people they can gather together of that area for their celebration or for any of the other work these all such things are been maintained by the municipality next is about that the safe and security of citizens safe and security of the
what it says about that the municipality has to keep fire fighting services this is the safety whenever that short circuit is there whenever the fire is there then it is the fire fighting services should always ready to take care of the citizens or the towns and the cities whenever it is required always they have to they are supposed to be ready to provide the services all the times so that whenever there is a fire in the city such services can be rushed to fight the fire and save the people trapped inside why it is always be ready because the fire if suppose it occurs sudden it occurs it happens sudden so they have to be on alert moment they get the instruction they have to reach over there the municipality sees it sees to it that food is free from contamination and adulteration then this is also the one of the important task of the municipality all these are the facilities just now we have discussed under this the functions of the municipality now how to provide all these facilities from where to provide these are all the very expensive things so how this municipality they manage their income from where they are earning to maintain or to provide all these facilities to the citizens the sources of income the same way already we have discussed earlier also with this the village panchayat and all again we are coming to discuss over here with this the sources of income living taxes living taxes this is the first one they collect some money and where they are living the taxes this is on the property here they do not have the farm land so what is there here here the property so the property tax is their number one number two which is given a term is been used octroi what is octroi octroi is actually the goods coming from the outside of the city to enter inside the city the person who is carrying the things or the goods from the outside of the city inside the city they have to pay the tax for that bringing those goods inside the city that is known as octroi on goods coming to the city from the outside is known as octroi and the business and industrial taxes taxes that imposed upon that the business and the industries then water tax is there vehicle tax is there shop tax then the hotel tax cleanliness tax cleanliness tax all such things are there which is the major source of income for the municipality then they have the other grants also comes from the state government state government also they also provide some of the grants for as a developmental program of those the cities then earning income through the interest on their investments whatever the suppose that the public buildings are there if they are investing this the government also investing in some of the schemes if they are earning that the interest that is also the part of their in, uh, source of income and receiving deposits and loans from the public with the approval of the state government whenever that the government miss gives the permission they can have to receive and deposit the, and loans were been provided with the permission of the state government without the permission they can't do so then the last one it comes about that the administrative officer what is the role who is the administrative officer in the municipalities and what are their role 
as already indicated the main officer responsible for carrying the administration of the municipality is known as the chief officer this is the main work done by the administrative officer which is known as the chief officer and he is appointed by the state government they are the permanent officials state government appoints them then what is the other work the chief officer has to implement the decisions taken by the elected members may elected members are means eligible or they are that is their responsibility to take the decision but that these decisions which is taken by the elected members implemented by the administrative officers as they are the permanent employee of the state government they are appointed by the state government so this is apart from this other officers like health officers shop inspectors engineers inspectors of primary schools etc also perform the administrative functions of the municipality alone this chief officer or the administrative officer cannot work so they have a entire team related to the different branches different heads and accordingly they are helping to proceed with the work for the development of the cities